Many football pundits consider him as one of the best strikers of his generation and he proved that by becoming the all-time top scorer for the Ukraine national football team before his retirement. Andrei Shevchenko was born on the 29th of September 1976 in Verkhryvnia. He is a Ukrainian football coach and former footballer. He played as a striker and was the head coach of the Ukrainian national team until 2021. Andrei Shevchenko was married in July 2004 to Christian Pazik in a very private wedding in Pontamak, Maryland. The couple has four boys, Jordan, Christian, Alexander and Ryder Gabriel. As a young boy, he played for the local housing cooperative team, which was led by a female coach. At one of the children's tournaments, Shevchenko was noticed by Dynamo Kiev's academy coaches, Alexandra Shibabkov, and invited him to his class. At first, Andrev's parents were against their son's hobby. Mikola Shevchenko wanted his son to follow in his footsteps after graduating from school to become a military man. Furthermore, he had to travel across town to train at the academy. But Shepavkov convinced Mikola and Andrev's mother, Lyubov, that their child has a future in football. However, his sporting ambitions were almost ruined by a nuclear accident in Chernobyl. In the spring of 1986, people of Kiev were hurriedly evacuated from the areas marked by radiation. After returning home, Andrev continued to play football. Ian Rush, the star of Liverpool FC and the Welsh national team, presented Shevchenko with new boots after the match. Considered one of the most talented and complete strikers of his generation, he made his debut with Dynamo Kiev, with whom he won five Ukrainian league titles and three national cups. In the 1993-94 season, Shevchenko became the top scorer for Dynamo 2, scoring 12 goals. He made his debut for the main team on the 8th of November 1994 in Donetsk against Shakhtar. He scored his first goal for Dynamo on the 1st of December 1994 against Dnipro. That proved to be his only goal that season, but that same year he scored in one of the two matches he played in the Champions League. The following year, Shevchenko scored 16 goals in 31 league games and won a league title. He scored a hat-trick against Barcelona in 97-98 and was named the best Ukrainian player in the Champions League. And in the 98-99 season, Shevchenko scored 33 goals in total, 18 of them in the league. He was also the top scorer in the Champions League that season. In his first period playing for Dynamo, he scored 106 goals in all competitions and won five Ukrainian league titles from 1995 to 1999. In the summer of 1999, he joined AC Milan for $25 million, where he played for seven seasons. And in his first year, Shevchenko became the top scorer in Serie A scoring 24 goals while scoring three against Lazio in one of his first matches. His main rival for top goal scorer in those years was Hernan Crespo. In the 2001 and 2001-02 season respectively, Shevchenko scored 34 goals in 51 official games, 24 in the league, but AC Milan failed to win a single trophy. The following season in 02-03 was more successful after being out of football for several months due to a meniscus injury, which he suffered in a Champions League match against Slaven Liberic. Shevchenko won the Italian Cup and the Champions League that season, where he scored the decisive goal in the penalty shootout in the final against Juventus. He was the first Ukrainian footballer to win the trophy. And in August the same year, he helped AC Milan win the UEFA Super Cup. In 2003-04 season, Milan secured the Italian League title. He also won the league's top goalscorer. It was the first title for AC Milan in four years and the second of his career for Shevchenko. And in December 2004, Shevchenko was awarded the Ballon d'Or as Europe's best player. He was later included in the FIFA 100 list compiled by Pelé. Shevchenko was also awarded the title of Hero of Ukraine in 2004. Milan finished the 04-05 season in second place thanks to Shevchenko's 17 goals. Andrev also scored 6 goals in 11 Champions League games as Milan reached the final of the tournament. They lost on penalties to Liverpool 5-3 after being 3-0 up at half-time. The match ended 3-3 after normal and extra time. And in the penalty shootout, Shevchenko hit the decisive shot but it was saved by Liverpool's Polish goalkeeper Jerzy Dudek. In the 05-06 season, Shevchenko scored 19 goals in 28 league games and 9 goals in 12 Champions League games. And on the 23rd of February, in a Champions League first leg match against Fenerbahce, he scored 4 goals and joined Marco Van Basten, Simeone Inzaghi, Dario Prezetsu, Ruud van Nistelrooy, Lionel Messi, Bafatimbi Gomez, Mario Gomez, Robert Lewandowski, Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Luis Adriano on the list of players to achieve the feat of 4 goals in one match. On the 8th of February 2006, Shevchenko became the second highest goal scorer in AC Milan history after Gunnar Nordl. 
His last game for AC Milan was against Palmer on the 7th of May 2006 and he was forced off the pitch early due to an injury in the 8th minute. In May that year, during the Milan vs Roma match, the fans asked Shevchenko to stay at the club with chants and banners. However, one week later, AC Milan president Silvio Berlusconi stated that Shevchenko wanted to go to England. This became the subject of media discussion and many rumours. A few weeks later, it was announced that Shevchenko would join Chelsea. He left Milan on the 1st of June 2006 for a fee of 45 million euros, surpassing Michael Essien's record transfer fee and becoming the Premier League's most expensive signing for several years. It was only beaten on the 31st of January 2011 when Spanish striker Fernando Torres also joined the Blues for 58 million euros from Liverpool. Shevchenko continued to wear the number 7 on his back and that summer German star Michael Ballack also joined the club from Bayern Munich. The player who was supposed to bring about the leaping quality at Chelsea was unable to adapt immediately. The fierce Premier League play and the competition with Didier Drogba were difficult challenges for the Ukrainian, who scored only 13 goals in his first season. Shevchenko started the 2007-08 season injured. He returned to Chelsea's first team in the middle of the season, helping the club come close to the Premier League title. However, Manchester United would not only win the Premier League, but also the Champions League over Chelsea. And Shevchenko did not play in the final, having been left out by coach Avram Grant. This decision intrigued Shevchenko, to the point of no longer having any desire to stay with the Blues. And he talked about speculation of a return to his former club, saying, There is a lot of talk about my return to Milan, but I am not allowed to say anything more than that. My ties with Milan have always been great. He had been a lame interlude at Stamford Bridge since he signed for Chelsea. After his departure from the club, he spoke about his feelings for the Italian club. Milan gave me a lot. They helped me grow as a player and they helped me win the European Football of the Year and the Champions League. I have great memories. Relationships with my teammates are very important and many of them have stayed. I miss my friends in Italy, my real friends. And the food, I miss it a lot. After two years in London, Chelsea's official website announced Shevchenko's return to AC Milan on a one-year loan deal with an option to buy out. On his return, Shevchenko played as a number 76 as his favourite number 7 was taken by Alessandro Pato. At the end of the season, Milan announced a desire to build a new team, with new head coach Carlo Ancelotti and his players Maldini, Kaka and Shevchenko leaving. On the 29th of August, Shevchenko signed for Dynamo Kiev and was given the number 7 shirt. Two days later, he made his debut in a home game against Matula Donetsk and scored his first goal. The game caused a stir. The stadium was packed. Zivchenko admitted after the game, I knew people loved me in Kiev, but I could never have imagined that I was so loved. Shevchenko made his debut in the Ukrainian national team on the 25th of March 1995 against Croatia. And in 2006, he reached the quarterfinals of the World Cup, the greatest success in a relatively short history of the Ukrainian national team to date. Prior to that, Shevchenko had been regarded by many as one of the best players, along with George Best, to have never participated in a World Cup finals. In June 2012, he captained the Ukrainian national team onto the field for his country's first European Championship match and scored in the 55th and 62nd minutes to win the match 2-1 against Sweden. They remained Ukraine's only goals of the tournament and due to the two defeats against France and England, in which he was only used as a substitute due to an injury, Ukraine were eliminated at the group stage. Shevchenko subsequently announced his retirement from the national team, having made a total of 111 international appearances in which he scored 48 goals. To this date, that still makes him the Ukraine's record goalscorer as of March 2022. And in February 2016, Shevchenko joined the coaching staff of the Ukraine national team, with which later that summer he took part in Euro 2016. After the tournament, the executive committee of the FFU approved Shevchenko as the head coach of the Ukrainian national team. Three months later, in the first official match under Shevchenko, the Ukrainian national team drew 1-1 with Iceland at home. Shevchenko achieved his first win as head coach in October when the Ukraine beat Kosovo 3-0. They did not qualify under Shevchenko for the 2018 World Cup, but there was a successful qualification for the 2020 European Championships. Andrei Shevchenko has been involved in charity work helping Ukrainian children for many years. Back in 2002, Andrev purchased an air ambulance for Kiev Regional Children's Hospital in Boyarka. This was equipped with modern resuscitation equipment for newborns. Also, the Shevchenko Foundation provides financial support for two schools. And on the 31st of May 2005, Andrev Shevchenko Foundation and American actor Richard Gere organized La Patita del Cura, the match of the hearts. This was held in Milan with the presence of 40,000 spectators where the golden team, including many famous people in Ukraine and around the world, 
played against a team of Italian pop stars. The musicians won 6-5. Although he had recently signed a contract to become head coach of Italian club Genoa, his time at the club was cut short in January 2022 after only 11 games in charge. Shevchenko and millions of other Ukrainians, our thoughts are with you and we wish you all the peace in the quickest possible time.